Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, we reveal January's mystery dip surprise box. We also talk about the top five pens of January 2024. And I'll tell you three things you can do to get someone hooked on fountain pens. Hang out to the end and I'll give away something on my desk. And just like that, the first month of 2024 comes to a close. The new year brought a host of new pens from well-known brands like Bennu, Visconti, Leonardo, Twisby, Opus 88, Retro 51, Narwhal, and more. Which pens rose to the top of this month's list? Let's find out. But first, a quick disclaimer. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during January 2024. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five, I talked about this pen most recently in a previous episode of the podcast. This is the Opus 88 Mini Sakura. It's mini yet mighty. It's a pocket-sized type fountain pen, and it's designed by one of our favorite pen aficionados, pen enthusiasts, who also happens to be an awesome graphic artist, as Tracy Marsaioli, who's also designed other Opus 88 exclusives, Baby Beluga and the Blizzard Opus 88 Mini, as well as other Retro 51 pens like Fright Night, Coffee House, Tea Time, and more. We're going to see a few other designs from Tracy coming up later this year, but we're talking about this beautiful uh, springtime pen, which is coming a little bit early for spring, but then again, we do celebrate the Sakura a little bit earlier than usually when spring comes anyway. So um, this is a nice pen that acts like a pocket-sized pen, but has a full-size capability in terms of writing and ink capacity. It fills by eyedropper filler, so you could use the included glass eyedropper and put bottled ink directly into the barrel of the pen. And you'll see in the barrel here in the center is what is called a shutoff valve. So this shutoff valve, when the cap is completely closed with the rest of the barrel, and I mean the blind cap by that, is that it will actually push the piston all the way up to the top of where the feed starts. So that way, all of the ink that's inside the barrel can't access the feed. Now, why would you want to have that? Is because if there's air pressure changes and you have less than half the capacity of the ink inside the barrel, the air might expand and then push out towards the nib and then thus causing what's called burping or leaking. You don't want that to happen. So that shutoff valve is good to engage if you're traveling with the pen or if you're flying with it or changing altitudes by like let's say if you're driving up a mountain or if it's a very sunny hot day outside and you want to write in your garden with the sakura pen you might want to engage the safety mechanism here that way it doesn't accidentally ink on you outside when you're just writing and the sun's beating down on it so in order to increase the flow then you would have to unscrew the blind cap to allow ink into your feed so if you leave it closed it may write with ink in the nib for about a page or so, but then you'll have to open it back up again to let more ink flow into the feed and then continue writing with it. And so besides the actual design of this eyedropper fill pen, what's there to love about this Sakura pen is its beautiful design. It's got a pattern of beautiful pink, white, and rose colored flowers on here that are carried away on loops and lines that are kind of like the breeze gently carrying away these petals. The barrel is a frosty translucent clear barrel so you could see the ink inside the pen and the cap is a solid black which matches then the finial ends and the grip section. The nib is a Yovo number no. five size stainless steel nib. It's available in sizes extra fine through broad and a 1.4 millimeter stub. The cap snap posts on the end to conveniently have a decent size length. It's not pocket size when you snap the cap on the end. Uh, it does move around though, uh, just as a note, just in case you're wondering, it does. It's, it is supposed to move around a little bit like that, but then it just pops right off and then you could screw it 
right back on the top of the pen. So currently the Opus 88 Sakura is pretty much almost out of stock. However, you can sign up for a back in stock notification since this is an open ended, not limited, not numbered edition. We do plan on carrying more of this particular design. All, just the same as we had done for Baby Beluga, it will continue to be in stock as much as you guys would like them. So for $79, it is available on the goldspot.com website, our fifth most popular pen for January 2024. With the new year comes a refreshed sense of purpose and the desire to turn dreams into reality. The first Retro 51 Popper Limited Edition Rollerball 2024 embodies this creative energy. Pastel artist Katie Klassman designed the radiant and dreamy illustration for the day and night pen. Now here's why this pen landed on the fourth spot of our list. The Retro 51 Tornado Popper Day and Night launched Tuesday, January 9th. With only 964 pens made, numbered on the top ring, significant for 1964, which was the year that The Beatles' A Hard Day's Night was released. Day and Night features an ombre design, and you know we love ombre at Gold Spot. We've had several ombre designs before, and this one has a really cool ombre that goes from dark navy blue up into the trim area here, down the entire length of the pen, turns from a turquoise, then a green, and then ends up with a peachy orange at the nose cone. And the trims then reflect the ombre, which then just continues it all the way down as opposed to matching it with, let's say, chrome trim or black trim, which I think completes the overall look of the pen. And I think the ombre accentuates Katie's artwork and really brings out the colorful pastels that are evident throughout the entire barrel design. Now, this was the type of pen that I felt which I know there's a lot of people who feel about pens when they look at them through a website and they get them in person. They're always like, oh, well, you know, the pictures just don't do this pen justice. And that's the feeling that I got opening this pen is that the original pictures I saw did not really do, I think, the colors on this pen justice. The polished finish of this pen really brings out the luster and the brilliance of the hues that are printed on here and just really do, I think, Katie's artwork justice when it comes to how it's represented on this pen. To top everything off here, at the very top disc of the Neural Twist top is a little beautiful little blossom design that's orange and yellow, which contrasts beautifully with the dark navy that surrounds it. The capless rollerball refill of the Retro 51 Tornado deploys effortlessly with the twist of the Neural Twist top, and writes fluidly with the Ref 5P refill, which is included, or you could alternatively switch it out with a Parker style type refill, which you could purchase separately, or you may have one that's laying around in your desk drawer. At $72.50, this limited edition popper is priced at the higher end for a Retro 51 Rollerball, yet we feel it's appropriately priced given the artist collaboration and the number of pens made worldwide, which is a little bit on the lower side. And unfortunately, the fourth most popular pen of January 2024 is completely sold out of gold spot. But if you're on the hunt, a piece or two might still be around on other Retro 51 retailers online. Sliding one spot from last month's top five list, the Pelican Souverain 800 Green Demonstrator Fountain Pen continues to find its way into the collections of many writing enthusiasts thanks to a significant discounted price from our Pelican US distributor. Although this pen is the third most popular in January, the Pelican Souverain 800 model is often part of the grail-worthy pen discussion. It's clear to see why. This pen is generously sized with a significant weight thanks to its brass piston filling mechanism. Now Pelican, which is the same company that the giant Souverain pen lamp that I have on my desk is, is manufactures, is one of the first to employ a piston filler starting back in 1929. Shortly thereafter, to show how a piston filler works, Pelican made a clear version called a demonstrator. And just like this pen, this is a green demo. And on Pelican's history of special edition pens, it was the transparent green collector's edition in 1992 that sparked the company's yearly offerings of limited production pens. In the 2023 green demonstrator version, Pelican revisits the 30-year-old design with some modern embellishments. Pelican nibs are made in-house at their factory in Hanover, Germany. The 18 karat gold nibs on the 800 are butter smooth, have a bit of bounce, and are easy to remove and clean the inside of the barrel. 
Now, originally, this Grail-worthy fountain pen lists for $880. Last month, we were able to offer this pen at 50% off, or $440, as part of our weekly dip special. We had such a great response that we are continuing it until the entire edition sells out. Find this gorgeous green demo, our third most popular pen of January 2024, at Goldspot Pens before they are gone for good. On January 10th, Goldspot launched the first Mystery Dip Surprise Fountain Pen and Ink Box. These quarterly boxes were really popular last year with several pens appearing in our monthly top five lists. To start the year, we introduced you to a brand you may not be familiar with. The January Mystery Dip contains the Magna Carta Denima Fountain Pen. Yes, folks, it is made with real jeans. One of the unique aspects of Magna Carta is the company's ability to create pen materials in-house, including unusual ones like the Denima. Their nibs and ebonite feeds are also made in-house, providing a distinct writing experience that sets it apart from other pen brands. Denima has a relaxed feel, a smooth yet subtle texture that feels comfortable to the touch. Much like Micarta and Garolite, the Denima fabric material is porous and will absorb ink, so be careful. You might want to fill your international converter directly using the included ink samples with the mystery dip. The Denima has a number six size stainless steel nib with an ebonite feed for smooth ink flow. And usually the Magna Carta Denima fountain pen sells for $160. For the mystery dip, you get the ink samples and the pen for $105 free shipping within the U.S. Our second most popular item is still available exclusively at goldspot.com. Rocketing to the top spot on our top five list in January was our first limited edition exclusive collaboration of 2024, the Leonardo Momento Zero Nebulosa Laguna. Now, I wish I could hold one here as I talk about it, but unfortunately, they are completely sold out. So Chris will show you some images while I talk about it in the video. This international collaboration combines exquisite diamond cast resin from Tim McKenzie with the expert artisanship of Leonardo Officina Italiana. We shared some behind the scenes clips of Tim mixing the colorful resins on our YouTube shorts. Nebulosa Laguna is named after the Lagoon Nebula, a cloud of interstellar dust and gas visible in the Sagittarius constellation. The pen contains swirling hues of deep purple, light blue, shimmering gold, and white. Leonardo did an amazing job turning the beautiful diamond cast material into the tapered shape of the Momento Zero. To highlight the glittering gold, Leonardo trimmed the cap bands and clip in gold plating and fitted the pen with a gold plated stainless steel number six size nib. Each pen was individually numbered with a ringed planet engraved on the back of the cap. Leonardo made 150 pens of the Nebulosa Laguna, which are all gone, making this edition our top pick for January 2024. I hope you're not too heartbroken if you missed out on Nebulosa Laguna. We're working on several new projects with Leonardo coming later this year. So there will be more beautiful pens in store for 2024. Be the first to know when we release new limited editions and collaborations by signing up for our weekly email newsletter using the link in the description below. There you have it folks, your top five pens of January 2024. To recap, we have the Opus 88 Mini Sakura, the Retro 51 Tornado Popper Day and Night, the Pelican Souverain M800 Green Demo Fountain Pen, the January Mystery Dip, which is the Magna Carta Denima, and not seen here, the Leonardo Momento Zero Nebulosa Laguna. And now for our question of the week, coming from Lukios, who asks, my New Year's resolution is to penable a friend. What are three things you would tell them about concerning fountain pens? Spreading the love and enjoyment of handwriting with fountain pens is a worthy cause, and I commend you, Lukios, for taking on the task. It's not easy. Believe it or not, most people think fountain pens went extinct decades ago. So the first thing I would tell a friend is that fountain pens are still being used by thoughtful, creative people from all walks of life. I recently published an article on the Goldspot Pens blog that provides examples of celebrities and noteworthy people who are known pen users. It's the kind of social proof you need to pique the interest of someone who might need convincing that fountain pens are still relevant in the digital age. Secondly, I would explain the benefits of handwriting with a fountain pen over the leading alternatives, ballpoints and computers. Fountain pens are smoother writers than ballpoints, requiring far less hand pressure, resulting in a more pleasurable, easier writing experience. Plus, the varieties of nibs and ink color choices allow for a greater range of personal expression. 
While computers are great for instant communication and publishing, they often invite distractions and prevent us from deeply concentrating on our work. A fountain pen unplugs you from constant notifications and taps into your mind. If you need to back it up with science, some studies show that taking notes by hand is more effective in learning than typing them on a keyboard. I'll link a study in the description. And third, I would show them a pen that I'm currently using and describe why I like using it so much. For example, I'm still loving my Lamy Safari fountain pen. Even though I have a lot more expensive pens in my collection, it's dependable, robust, and has a stub nib that provides calligraphic flair to my handwriting. I'll put shimmer inks in the Safari so I don't risk clogging my more precious pens. So congrats go to Lukios for being picked as the question of the week. You've won the Leonardo Memento Zero Black Sands prototype fountain pen I mentioned in the last episode. Email me at tomicgoldspot.com to claim your prize. For this week's giveaway, I have a Caveco AL Sport Mercury Orange fountain pen that is a prototype and also up for grabs. It's a good time to get one of these because we're down to about 20 of them left before they're gone for good. To enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. If I answer your question of the week, you win. If you want to see me write with the pens mentioned in this week's episode, you can check out Goldspot Pens YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikToks for writing samples. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now, go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.